Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Slickmoff and I'm back again with another video. And in today's video, I would like to discuss a recent interview, it's not new or anything, regarding the main villain in Batman v Superman. Now, initially when this interview came out, I tweeted out the link and it was from a fake website. It was like mn.ign.com and I was told it was fake. So I took it down and I was like, oh shit, I don't wanna look like an idiot. So I took it down right away and I just presumed that it was fake. And then recently I was you know, scrolling around IGN and I found out that this article is actually real. And initially when I read the article, it definitely appeared to be fake. I mean, they were spewing details regarding the main antagonist or the fact that Doomsday wasn't the main villain. And you would think that they would, you know, keep that under wraps until the movie came out. But I think that they were kind of forced to address this because I think it was a major concern of fans such as myself that they had just revealed the major, you know, plot point main antagonist of the film itself. And they simply haven't. And in the interview, it becomes clear that that is not the case. Furthermore, because Doomsday is apparently not in the final act of the film, and if he is, then he's not the main final villain that they go up against, we don't really have to worry about Superman dying to Doomsday, and in fact, the producer says right here that he doesn't die. I personally wasn't concerned about this, but some people might have. So here's what a producer on Batman v Superman said, quoting IGN. We're able to tell the story in a new and fresh way. He said, Doomsday is an evolution, essentially, and fans may be aware of the death of Superman's story, but this is handled in a totally new way. And when the film is called Batman v vs Superman, it really has a lot of levels of meaning. And Superman isn't just killed off at the end or something like that. We see how he evolves as part of Lex's plan to protect the world. Here's what's most important. He confirms that Doomsday isn't just the final act. According to the designer, Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman will face an even larger threat in Dawn of Justice, and those feeling they may know too much this early are going to be in for a true surprise. Not plural, true surprise, singular. So what is that one surprise? Of course, when I say that one surprise, there's going to be more than one surprise or plot twist in the movie, but what I'm saying is that in this context, he's saying there's going to be one other main, bigger villain or antagonist in the film. So the question really is, who will that be? I think our first inclination is to say Darkseid. We saw the parademons in Batman's dream sequence. I'm not saying that that's impossible. However, I will say this. In the fact that they are showing Doomsday, who is a villain that many would deem to be more of a Justice League type villain because of how massive he is and because of how menacing he is, Many people wanted to see him in JLA 1. I think that Darkseid is going to be more of a JLA villain, and that's just my personal interpretation. I'm not saying it's impossible to see him in Batman v Superman, but you know, you ultimately have to save some of these amazing villains. So I think somebody like Bizarro or something like that uh, is more likely, and I'll give my final verdict here in just a moment on who I think the main final antagonist will be. And I think with the spawning of this interview, it becomes very clear that Zod is not Doomsday. In other words, you know, Doomsday is not made out of General Zod. And I can only say that because of the way that the trailer is edited. It's made you to believe that General Zod is, you know, his body is used by Lex Luthor and creates Doomsday. But they would never make it that obvious. And because the trailer is edited in that way and we know that Doomsday is not the only antagonist in the film, I think that you're much more likely to look at a Bizarro out of Zod or something like that. But not Doomsday. Doomsday has to be made out of something else or maybe he's just the Doomsday from the comics. You know, they threw him out, killed him like a million times, made him invincible, that kind of thing. That's less likely, but I, all I'm saying is that Zod is not Doomsday. That would be way too obvious, and the trailer is edited to make you believe that, and certainly we once thought that, but of the spawning of this interview, I think it's just inherently obvious that that's not what's happening here, because they edit it in a way to deceive you to think that's the case, but we've got something much bigger going on here. So guys, if you remember a week ago, I once said that Batman v Superman could be saved if this scene with Doomsday is not in the final act, and it appears that in my view, it's been saved, and I'm, again, thoroughly looking forward to the movie, which I was beforehand, even once I thought that, the, you know, we seen the whole thing, because, I mean, it's the Trinity on the big screen, you know what I mean? But at the same sense, you know, I really wanted there to be some narrative surprises to look forward to, and because that this is not simply the final act, this is not the final villain, I think that we have a whole ton to look forward to on March 25th, and again, you guys don't understand, like, I'm really now, like back into this movie and I'm really back on the bandwagon whereas for like a month or two there I was kind of off and I definitely jumped to conclusions and I certainly in I'm kind of doing so now and jumping back on the bandwagon based off this little interview this guy had but it's not only just the interview it's 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 a number of things and I just kind of realized that my distaste for the movie or I guess just kind of the fact that I was really not looking forward to it was kind of unfounded and I do apologize that I was kind of rash especially after seeing the trailer but that was my initial reaction that's very honest of me to 
Uh, I, I, I mean, just to say that, that was my honest reaction initially, and as I said, I'm really looking forward to this movie again, so let me know who you think the other main villain is in the movie. Again, we're looking at Dark Side, Bizarro, those kind of characters. I think that Zod is not Doomsday. I'm just so confident about that, guys. I really think Doomsday comes from somewhere else, from somebody else. I don't know who. I'm not saying I have all the answers, but I just don't think that... That would be way too obvious, the way they edited the trailer. So I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments section below on who the main antagonist is in Batman v Superman. And it looks like Doomsday is just like the JV squad of this movie, which is crazy to think about because he's obviously an incredibly powerful character. So hope you guys will subscribe for more Batman v Superman content, and we shall see you in the next video.